do it, from what I hear. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We're having a fantastic show. I know my, my co-host, Keith, is having a fantastic show. He's been drinking throughout this whole show since we had our booze segment on. Cheers! Cheers! Keith is half in the bag, and we are having a great time. We, uh, we'd like to give a shout out, of course, to our fantastic studio audience here at the Jeffrey Theater, downtown San Diego. Couldn't do this show without you guys, and we're gonna give away a couple of prizes to the audience tonight. We got a couple of passes, gift cards, to the Shout House to see Dueling Pianos. We're gonna give those away to a couple of people that came to the show tonight uh, for free admission to the Shout House. If you wanna win prizes like that, just get your tickets to the show at tonightinsandiego.com or go on social media, uh, Twitter, Instagram, even Tinder, and uh, <laughs> try it, you know, and hashtag us tonight in San Diego. Our uh, musical performance is coming up later. We're gonna meet one of the members of the band right now. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for John Kunkel of The New Division. Welcome to the show, John. Great to see you. Thank hey, you for coming on the show. Hey, thanks for having me. I'm glad to be here. Uh, yeah, I know you guys, you have a pretty big band. It was like, there's uh, like 80 of you guys up in the green room, right? It yeah, was... there's about uh, 12 of us out there right now. I don't know how they all came through. There's only six of us, but... Uh... I know. <laughs> I feel like they added members when they knew there was going to be booze on this show. Yeah, you know. It's wait, just... wait, I'm in the band tonight, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, think, you're yeah, in the band he's, he's on the writer, so... Yeah. Um... Nice. So... <laughs> So you, but you're the lead singer, so you get to be the, the, the mouthpiece for the band. That's correct, nice. yeah, yeah. How did you guys form the new division? Man, it was a college project that started off when I was about 18 and- uh, Really? Just started writing songs, and then one thing led to another. We won a battle of the bands. After we won the battle of the bands, started getting booked for shows and- Wow. Got serious. That's and, gotta be uh, the best thing to come out of a college project, I would yeah, think, really. Yeah, I mean, better than my degree, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. That's fantastic. So you and you guys just came out with another. You have your third album came out, Gemini. Yeah, correct? that's correct. Yeah. Nice. So I was reading a little bit about that. That you you released this album and it's sort of an ode to your original sound after years of experimenting with with a different sound with with dance music. Is that yeah, what that's doing? correct. Yeah, it was a bit more of a return back to uh, the old roots of kind of mixing in the rock with electronic and. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So okay. it's the old new division. It's the old division. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's basically the old division. I mean, we cool. should have just rechanged the name okay. obviously, at that point. So. I got you. That's the short story of the long division. It's I guess. the long division. Um, <laughs> thank you. So uh, <laughs> I was reading about this. Not only uh, is, did, you, did you found this band, but you also have Division 87 Records, which you founded, uh, that is sort of encompasses the New Division. How did that come about? Well, it was just a way to, uh, you know, New Division was always a personal project, and I never wanted to sign the project to a label, so I decided to start my own label, and it was just the easiest way to put out the releases. And one thing led to another, and I started the label, and uh, it's it's been there ever since. Okay. Now, I, I don't know if you saw our last guest uh, disparaging some of Paul McCartney's uh, forays into new wave <laughs> uh, music. Now, actually, the new division is, has been described as new wave. Can you tell me exactly what is, what is new wave? Well, new wave is sort of that second wave that came after the 80s from, you know, just all the, when people just started burning all the disco records and stuff like that. Okay. It's just like the new wave of... Uh, music you know okay. I mean it's one of those terms that just kind of stuck and people kept with it but it's really a sound you know it's like that 80s sound it's like talking heads uh joy division new that, order okay. that's you know and Emily that's where and you I, get the we name from. the show we thought they had said joy division so we we're singing <laughs> love will tear us so apart and I was like okay. it's gonna be a depressing show but I'm glad it's it's not so yeah luckily great. I haven't killed myself yet yeah so. I'm glad you haven't <laughs> Glad you haven't done that. Um, but your so your music has both uh, lyrical and instrumental heavy elements to it. Um, I was curious, what is the songwriting process for you like uh, when you do something like that? Uh, it's pretty simple, really. I mean, I just wake up. Uh, I try to wake up every day around six. I go into the studio, which is two doors down from where I sleep, so it's a pretty quick walk. So you wake up at six a.m. Yeah. yeah, usually on an average uh, week. You know, I mean, not probably tomorrow. You know, given all the activity going on in wow. the green room. But uh, six waking up at six to me is six p.m. Yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
No joke. There's that's, no 6 a.m. Right. That's when I thought most rock band guys <laughs> yeah. would get up, you know. Oh, got a yeah, gig in know. a couple hours, you know. I guess that's the difference between us and the, I guess, you know, rock and electronic bands. You know, we wake up a little earlier uh, <laughs> get to some tweak stuff our done. sense. You know, they take a little longer time to warm up. Uh, but no, it's just one of those things that I've just, you know, I've always liked waking up early, writing early in the morning. It's the best time. There's no one to bother me. Wake up, go into the studio, bust out a few tunes, and uh, I'll end up writing, you know, within a week about five or six songs. And then, you know, over the course of a year, I'll get a bunch more, and then that'll turn into an album over time. And uh, yeah, it's just. It's, it's what I love to do. And then hitting the road, you do that to promote the new albums you guys yeah, tour Yeah, I mean, every time we tour, it's always a way to kind of reach out to the fans and to be able to uh, play those songs live, which is always the culmination of the work in the studio. It's actually the, the ability to play that live and to share that with the fans is like the ultimate experience of the whole process you yeah know, from beginning to end and then that's the that's the treasure right there we're excited to get to hear you guys later on the show I had one little tidbit of trivia about you guys before we go to break here that uh, your biggest fan of your band is Sebastian Stan which people may know as the actor from Captain America movies that plays Bucky and the Winter Soldier uh, he's, he's just kind of a fan over there so he is a huge fan of, of your band. I wondered if you were aware of his work, and so I thought you could play a game against our resident Captain America fan here, Keith Foster, uh, on I've, a little I've trivia. had a couple drinks. Yeah. Now, I'm going to give you a couple movies, and I want you to guess whether Sebastian Stan Bucky has been in them or not. If you win, uh, you get to have a drink, and, if, uh, Keith, uh, if Keith, and then Keith has to stop drinking. All right. And if, <laughs> what do I get? If it's Keith, on. If, if, it's on. If you win, you'll get a drink. If Keith okay. wins, he gets to continue what he's doing. Fair enough, fair All right. Enough. So here's the f the first three movies. I want you guys to guess. Um, Keith, you go first. Here's three movies: The Notebook, Mean Girls, or The Martian. Oh my gosh. Can uh, you guess? Uh, was Sebastian Stan? In I could which see one? him being a mean girl. Okay. All right, John. You, <laughs> you got a guess for it? I could see him writing a notebook. Oh, well, you are both wrong. He was in The Martian. So we played Chris back. Uh, all right, I'll give, you an, I'll give you another one. No one uh, that good looking could be from Earth. I just saw that. Was he in, <laughs> was he in Gone Girl or Black Swan? Keith? Uh, oh, oh, thi uh, this is 50%. Yeah. Uh, uh, Gone Girl. I guess I have to go with Black Swan. Black Swan is correct. <laughs> That's one to nothing here. All right, here's the tiebreaker. Is he the swan? He's the swan. He's so pretty. He's the swan. Okay, here's the final one tiebreaker. Was he in Debbie Does Dallas or Gossip Girl? Keith? Uh, Debbie Does Dallas? No, unfortunately. Gossip Girl. He was in Gossip Girl. That is amazing. And uh, you have won a cocktail, which I will give you backstage after this. Ladies and gentlemen, Please give it up for John from The New Division. We're going to check him out right after this, live on the Tonight San Diego stage. Stick around. Bested me. You win, John. <laughs> nice to see you.